Hello and welcome to Mind Your Matters. My name's Amanda Jane and I'm so glad you're here. Today I need to make laundry soap. So I wanna share it with you. I'm going to make a five minutes laundry detergent. It is gonna be highly concentrated and it's gonna last you about 120 loads. So if you're interested in that and a fun way of doing it and a fast way of doing it, no shaving, no boiling, no cooking, no mess, really. It's going to be all contained in a mason jar. If you're interested in that, stick with me. Okay, so I need to make laundry soap. It has been a little while. I've been doing a lot around my life. My husband, my husband has gone on deployments. We have started using a lot of Norwex. I do love Norwex, but Norwex, you're expensive. I'm sorry, you're very expensive. There are great things with that, and usually I use that for our laundry, but our kids always have laundry, and I like to have a cheap way of washing their clothes. But I also try to do as pure as I can. These things you probably recognize. You probably recognize these. I'll use vinegar, I'll use dryer balls to dry, whatever I can do to keep chemicals out of my family and also keep the cost down because sometimes going a little bit more natural and without chemicals is going to also help your budget. So with our five minute laundry soap, what do we need? Here are some things that you're gonna need to have. This is what we're going to need for our project today. We are gonna need good old borax. Now I know y'all know what this is. You can find these anywhere, grocery store, wherever they sell laundry. You also need to have, make sure it is laundry booster, super washing soda, baking soda that you bake with in the same size. The more orange color is not gonna work very good for you. Some people have used it and it's been okay, but you want this one and you want this one. You also want to pick your soaps. Now a lot of people stick with the Fesnalthia, I can never say it right, the laundry bar. This is 88 cents or a dollar, depending on where you find it, and it's a very inexpensive. For our recipe, you're only gonna need one of these. It is going to make two of our mason jars. So if you wanna have that ex exact unit, use this. Also Zoat, like some people have used Dove. Here I got some Yardley at Dollar Tree just a moment ago when we got back from the store. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this just for scent to kind of change up the recipe in one of my, or two of my jars, we'll see. And then I also picked up this Bolero Coconut and Rose Milk Plant-Based Soap. And the ingredients are great, let's see here. All right, those are not bad ingredients. This one's got a little bit more. So if you do have some sensitivities and such. Now this one says paraben free and sulfate. You know, I really like to look for that, especially for my skin sensitivities, because this stuff is going to be going on your clothes and gonna be touching your body. So you do need to be careful. So I did pick up some of these. We'll see where we get. Oh, and I'm currently doing laundry. There's our things. What do we need for containers? Okay, so our containers, we are going to be using, ooh, our quart mason ball jars whatever you have but the quart size i do like wide mouth because when i've done this before the smaller mouth is a little bit more difficult now i did pull one out of my stash a more narrow mouth so you've got your wide and your more narrow this is going to be a little bit more difficult but if this is what you have this is what you have work with it the wide are the same size we get another one and again these are the quart jars have my third right there. Now I did have a smaller one I wanted to show you. We'll say this is about half the size. Of, okay. I'm gonna keep that on because sometimes I have a little extra that I want to prepare and I'll just go ahead and decrease my use of the soap and so on. So I'll just like cut back the recipe and I'll have something to share. So if you have a friend that wants to try it and you're like, hey, I'm making this laundry soap, this five minute laundry soap, Go ahead and get you a quart or a, the pint and then go ahead and make them their own version there. Or you can just give them a big giant one. That would be super nice too. 
what an awesome friend. <laughs> Before we leave the laundry room, I want to show you the lids that we definitely need. You want to have these types of plastic lids. They have Walmart versions of them. A lot of the times they're sold out. Or you can make a workaround like your shredded cheese, you know, containers, you know, the shaker top. This would work just fine. You can use the regular mouth ones, but you want to be careful. But these really do a lot better, uh, especially when you're opening it up in your laundry room, trying to do your laundry with the 15 seconds you have. You don't want to be messing with uh, popping and having the old mason jar lid. So these babies, you're going to want to get these. So there's all our ingredients and the things that we are going to be using for our laundry soap. So we are going to head to the kitchen and I'm going to be cutting up the laundry soap and I'm going to be showing you how we prepare it and make that five minute laundry soap. We're going to be making one so close to the recipe direction so that you know exactly how it's gonna turn out. And then I'm just gonna do some changing it up, whipping it up and having some variety with some of the soaps that I already showed you. So let's head to the kitchen and let's see what we can get done. First, when we get to the kitchen, we're gonna wanna get all of our supplies out and get them organized so we can get cutting of the soap. Now our soap needs to be cut into about one inch sections. Now this soap was very dry, probably old. <laughs> so it was very dusty and very shavy. It was not really hard to take care of. I cut it in half and then I cut it in about fourths and then just kept on chopping. As long as it is in smaller pieces. Now with the soap being older, I hope that it still gels for me. I guess we shall see. And we're gonna put it equally into the two mason jars. This is the exact recipe that you're following if you're following along with the recipe in the description box. Here's the fun part where you can make yourself a cup of coffee while your water boils <laughs> or cut more soap, whatever you wanna do. Next, I'm working with the other laundry soap bar called Zote and I'm just gonna use half and still follow the rules of trying to chop it off real good. This is good laundry soap. I really do enjoy the scent. I do favor the Nesfalthia because it does have better stain remover as I found in the past, but I'm gonna split up this half into a fourth per container. And there is my friend giving container. Next we have the Yardley. This is the only soap that actually cut really well. This is usually how the soap cuts if you get it new and maybe don't let it sit forever like I did. So it's cutting really great and I split it up into half and then I put it into the other mason jars, the narrow neck and also the friend jar. Water's still boiling. Oh, come on. I went back and cut some more of the soap that I got from Bolero. I do want some of this <laughs> to actually bathe with and shower with. So I only took about like a fourth and it was kind of chunky and crunchy. Just threw it back in and that went up to my shower. I chopped this up a little bit more and dispersed it between my other, my friend jar and my narrow neck jar and some others. I just, you know, let's just mix it up. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Okay, so here I have my borax and my washing laundry soda. And this is three servings. So we've, well, we got three cups that is, three cups. So I've got three cups of borax, three cups of washing soda. So we've got the six in here. And I just took my whisk and mixed it all up. And I've um, worked on this a little bit, make sure there's no chunks. And I think it's pretty well combined. Okay, and you saw how we did our soaps. Just changed it up a little bit. So we've got one, two, three, four quarts. So that's double the recipe that I'm gonna put in the description box. And then we have our um, pint here. So that's what we got. And we're still waiting for the water to boil. Like With our jars ready to go, we're going to get our hot boiling piping water to a cup and a half in each jar. Get that cap on as soon as you can after you get the cup and a half in each jar and 
have that cap loose. Keep working quickly and get those done because this is supposed to be five minutes. Five minutes of getting that soap piping hot and it's going to cook and gel overnight. back downstairs we got all of that taken care of and it doesn't take long at all so if I was to just make two you could time yourself five minutes or less to cut up all that soap get your water boiling before you do that and then the water will be ready and then adding the one and a half cups of water to go ahead and start melting your soap so my soap is actually starting to gel I'm gonna leave it overnight and we're gonna check it in the morning and I'll show you the process then so you really can just do that process, put on the lids loosely, and just put them aside. And we're gonna wait overnight and see them in the morning and see how they did. In the meantime, I get to fold all of this laundry. Joy. Hey, good morning. This is day two. I actually had most of these gelling last night. So here it is around seven o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna come down with my butter knife and I'm gonna show you the next steps here in our five minute laundry detergent in a jar. So let's get to it. Get yourself a knife and get your borax and washing soda and we're gonna get the rest of this done. Okay, I wanted to show you real quick. Look at this gelling, and I'm gonna give it a shake. You can see that it's pretty firm. Okay, you can even tip them over. I told you you needed to have your butter knife, so we're gonna have that available. And we're going to take our jar, and we are going to insert the knife, cut down as far as you can, See, my knife got all the way down there. That's really good. And we're just going to crisscross it. See, I just didn't went that way. This way. And then make center cuts. Like you're cutting So at this pie. point, if you notice that there's a lot of chunks and different big pieces, don't worry at all. They will mix in. They'll mix in very, very well. Okay, so we have all of our jars. I split up the friend jar into a pint and a half quart. Then we have our quarts. Here's our original recipe. You see how they gel. There is some hard parts in the bottom and that's okay. That will get taken care of. This one's a little bit more well done. And then we have our fun, let's see how it goes with the zote and the different bars that we use. So we're going to now add our borax in washing soda inside right, the jar. So for this recipe, each jar is going to get a half cup of washing soda and a half cup of borax. My borax and washing soda, so I'm going to be able to simply just get one cup of this mixture because it's mixed 50-50 and I'm going to use the one cup for my big jars. Another thing that might be nice is a wide mouth funnel. This one also fits in my narrow mouth and in the pint and in the half quart and also the quarts. This is nice to have. Here we've got our, our pint and our half quart. So if we're going to cut our recipe down, it's just basic math. Okay, so in our pint, we are just gonna put a fourth. So I actually have a fourth measuring here. And in our half pint, we are going to do a fourth. I had some washing soda left over. I just used this as an OxyClean powder. All right, so the next step is you're going to need a blender of some kind. Here I use my blender that's supposed to have two ports and I use one port. I know that's silly, but this is what I have, so I'm just making it work. If you have an Austerlizer type of blender, go ahead and use that. But all you need is to be able to mix up all of this material. Our water is boiling and we're going to add it to the neck. We're gonna add it to the neck, so before, of course, it would overflow. We don't want that, because it will whip up a lot. You will probably want a jar 
to put the excess in. All right, here's the hot water. I'm gonna be adding it to the jars. And as you can see, it takes quite a bit because it soaks down through. I'm going to stop about there. So when you're working with this, think about it more like not baking, but cooking. You can add a smidge in here, a smidge in there and make it work. Okay, so here was where we're at. So you want it right before it starts coming in. That's where you put your water. Here for a pint, it's a little bit before your ridge. Again, here, not, you know, basically where the line is, where they say the freeze line is, all that. You don't want to go any higher. All right, make sure you hold that jar because if you go spin that thing around, it's going to go all over the place. It's happened. It happens. Keeping it clean, but honestly, if you work over a sink or if you work around some places you can grab a cloth, you can just take that cloth, wipe all this up, and throw it in the laundry because it has laundry soap on it. So, <laughs> very mess free. It's in the jar, and if it comes out a little bit, you can just go wash your laundry. So that went really well, and everything got spun up. Again, if I had a fancy, spancy, like stick, osteolizer type blender, it would be even more whippy, but it's still okay. I just set it and it still gels up quite a bit. It's very whippy, as you can see. I have some laundry ready to go and I'm gonna show you how much you need. You only need a tablespoon for a full load. So I'm actually going to use this little container. I'm just gonna eyeball it, throw it here in the laundry. Actually, I could throw this whole cup in because it can wash with it. Yep, on add my clothing thank you so much for joining me here on mind your matters making this five minute laundry soap in a jar and i'm just so excited i'm thankful that this concentrated Laundry soap is now on a video for you, my friends, to share, and I really enjoy it. I do have my friend jar. I decided to be a good friend and go ahead and get a big high volume over to her, so I hope that she enjoys that, and I hope that you can enjoy making this as well and sharing and also helping your laundry budget and also keeping your clothes nice with these more natural homemade solutions. So thank you so much for being here on Mind Your Matters, where we desire to mind our matters and the matter of laundry is something we have to mind. If we're more ahead of the game and more efficient in doing the things, we can have more capacity and room for things that matter, like our family, God, serving Jesus, all of those things. So thank you so much for being here on Mind Your Matters, and I pray that you found encouragement and value in this. If you did at this time, if you would give me a thumbs up, it really helps my channel and helps this content go out to others and they can mind the matters of the laundry. So thank you so much. If you haven't yet subscribed and joined the Mind Your Matters family, go ahead and do so. You can click that button right now and you're in. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, ask questions and all the things. And I try to answer them as best as I can. So have a lovely day. Yes, I have more laundry to fold <laughs> per usual. But now I know that not a lot of my money is going down the drain literally when it comes to laundry. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for being here and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.